My name is Karen Van Oosterreich and the title of my speech today is How to Raise Accountable Children. First I'm going to introduce my audience. My husband Neil, my sister Rebecca, my other sister Linda Beth, my father David, and my son Douglas who is doing the video camera. I feel it's necessary to discuss the problem in our society of children who are not accountable in ways that we as parents can change that. I know that we all know children that do not appear accountable for their actions. I work in a public school system. I see it on a daily basis. As parents, we need to change that. Our society and nation will not continue to grow for the better if we do not change that behavior. Children should not be blaming others for their actions and not be held accountable for them as well. The three things I'm going to talk about today is stop solving your children's problems for them, do what you say you will do, and allow your children to fail. The first point, stop solving your children's problems. I'm going to give some examples. My son and his friend, when they were younger, were shooting off bottle rockets and started a fire in a grassy field. They ran away and did not notify anyone to help. My son found out that the friend of his was caught but they didn't know who Doug was, so they could not question Doug. After he found this out, we convinced him that he needed to go to the authorities and turn himself in because he needed to take responsibility. He had to do community service through the youth justice program. We made him pay the fee out of his own money to go through that program. We could not solve his problem for him. He had to solve it himself. Another example is a co-worker of mine. Her son was caught smoking marijuana in college. The parents supported him in what he needed to do, but they made him find an attorney, set up the meetings with the attorney, pay the, the court proceedings out of his own money. This was a way of him taking responsibility for his actions. A website that I like to read is goodtherapy.org and that is a great website on how to stop fixing your child's problems let them fix it for themselves the second point is do what you say you will do one of my favorite parenting books is parenting with love and logic by foster klein and jim fay one of the points that they drive home is setting boundaries and doing what you say you're going to do Another example of my son, which I hate to pick on him, but he had to learn a very valuable lesson. When he was in the second grade, he would not get out of bed in the morning when I told him to get out of bed. He would not get up, get dressed, get his breakfast eaten, to be ready to go to school, to be there on time and not be late. I finally told him that if he did not get up when he was called and get ready, that I was just going to pick him up out of bed in his pajamas, take him to school just the way he was. The very next day, he did not get up out of bed when he was called to eat his breakfast, to get dressed, and be there on time. So I did exactly what I said I was going to do. He went to school that day in his pajamas. Some people said, Mom, how could you embarrass him that way? I did not embarrass him. He embarrassed himself because I told him the consequences of what was going to happen and it put the, just the choice back on him to go to school the way I said he was going to, going to go to school. From that point on, he got up out of bed when he was called and was ready to go to school. My daughter would start forgetting all the time assignments that she needed at school. She would not put them in her backpack and then call for me to bring them to her in the middle of the day. I told my kids they had one time a year for me to bring them an assignment they left at home. So they needed to make sure that they picked the most crucial assignment because I was only going to do it one time a school year. 
I had to stop remembering for my children. They had to remember for themselves to get their backpack ready the night before and make sure everything was there. They, she learned a valuable lesson because she got grades marked down by not having her assignments with her at school and not being prepared. But she did learn the lesson to get the stuff in her backpack and think ahead the following day of what she needed. Children need to learn to take responsibility without constant direction. On AccountableKids.com, they have to learn worth, worth ethics, time management, and responsibility without the parent prompting them. Allow your children to fail. My daughter frequently would not do her homework and turn it in, even though she made 100% on all of her quizzes and tests. She knew the subject matter, therefore she didn't feel it was important to turn in her homework. She had to learn a very valuable lesson when she received very poor grades for not turning in her homework, even though she knew all of the subject matter. It caused a lower GPA that she had to work extra hard the rest of her high school years to get that GPA up. By implementing these three things, your children learn valuable lessons for life. It affects them in school, future jobs, etc. These are huge lessons parents can teach children because it will affect them in every area of life. So bottom line, do not solve your children's problems. Do what you say you're going to do. Allow your children to fail. Teddy Roosevelt said, to educate a person in mind and not morals is to educate a menace to society. Thank you.